Do you know what a potato, a bell pepper, and an eggplant have in common? If you said they are all tasty, well, you are not wrong. But there is another important similarity. These plants, and also tomatoes, hilo, and all peppers, belong to the Solanaceae family, or nightshades. Have you ever heard about them? Although most people don't have any issues with this family, nightshades can cause problems for people with autoimmune diseases and anyone who has digestive sensitivity to them. Did you know that? Tom Brady, one of the best football players in the USA, recently revealed his diet and strategies to keep in good shape. At 43, Brady is still playing and avoids mushrooms, wheat flour, and any fruits out of his dietary plan. Alcohol, caffeine, white rice, corn, genetically modified foods, high fructose foods, trans fats, sugar, soy, cooking oils, foods with gluten, and so-called nightshades like tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants are out of his shopping list. And it seems like other celebrities are also adept at a diet without nightshades. Tomatoes, potatoes, eggplants, bell peppers, and seasonings containing pepper, like paprika, dehydrated peppers, and cayenne pepper, have a toxic substance called solanine. Black pepper is a different plant, so it is okay. According to the experts, solanine is a toxic alkaloid that works as a defense mechanism for these plants. However, for us, excessive or prolonged consumption of foods high in solanine can cause side effects to our gastrointestinal tract. Solanine inhibits the action of acetylcholinesterase enzyme, causing a strong neuromuscular stimulus. Solanine can be even more harmful to sensitive people and those with a genetic predisposition to inflammation in the joints, arthritis, or intestines. The experts say that it is better to avoid these foods even if you don't have chronic issues. Did you know that? Enjoying the video? Then give it a like and share it with your friends to help the channel. We can't say that these dangers are only relevant for people sensitive to nightshades because there aren't many studies in this area. If you don't have problems with solanine, there is no reason to throw all these foods out of your diet just for precaution. The same compounds that harm sensitive people can also benefit those who have a healthy digestive system. But that begs the question, should you avoid nightshades? If you are fighting against an autoimmune disease, especially rheumatoid arthritis, or any other that causes joint aches and inflammation. It is worth staying 30 days without any nightshades. After all, it won't do any harm and you may even be surprised with the benefits. If that is your case, try it and come back to share your experience with us. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.